Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, OFV boy, CJ Slash Corn. Today, we back with another vid. We're gonna be reacting to the scary truth behind regular show. If y'all didn't watch this show growing up, I don't know what to tell you. This is one of the... I have regular show and my top three favorite shows of all time. It's probably number one. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not, it's, it's, it's probably no more, and I ain't even gonna lie. I used to watch this every single day. And sometimes I go on, I go on HBO Max and watch it again. Without further ado, we're gonna get into the vid. Make sure y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below if you knew some of these things. The hidden, the scary truth behind the regular show let's get it what are we doing we're hanging out on a mansion wearing suits of armor drinking sodas the usual no i mean with our lives man this this is really dumb <laughs> the regular show is one of those shows that is quite literally anything but regular from the Facts. completely unpredictable plot lines what of each episode freak? to the great deal of adult references throughout the entire series. Whoa. This show's humor can be appreciated by almost all ages, for it has jokes that appeal to everyone. But the comedy that takes place in this franchise may go a bit deeper than it's initially portrayed. All episodes of the regular show are based on a very similar structure, which is displayed throughout the entire series. Typically starting with the two main characters, what a Mordecai Rigby. and Rigby, being presented a minor problem, and in their attempt to solve it, something completely out of the ordinary takes place. Happens, yeah. For example, in the pilot episode, Mordecai and Rigby are gifted an old couch but can't decide who should keep it. This is the conflict, and to resolve this issue, they play a game of rock, paper, scissors. In doing so, they summon a monster that tries to eat the couch. <laughs> On surface level, all of this seems to be completely random, with seemingly not even an apparent moral. But there might be a way deeper meaning than what we originally perceived. All right. Obviously, we know that the story of each episode follows both Rigby and Mordecai. But what if it isn't that simple? What if it's only Rigby? What if huh? Mordecai and the rest of the park's residents don't exist? What? But I'll get back to that. First, what? let me address some of the more apparent topics. A very common theory is that Mordecai and Rigby are both alcoholics, for in many episodes they are depicted drinking soda, which is I believe True. to be a euphemism for beer. But it's not just those two that seem to have an issue with alcohol, but the entire park. But how? Only Mordecai and Rigby drink sodas. Well, of course. But they all eat wings. And I know what you're thinking. True. What do wings have to do with alcohol? Well, the writer actually makes it quite obvious that wings are supposed to resemble hard liquor or something similar to it. Many of the characters say things like, mm. I brought us some wings to help us celebrate. <laughs> Sorry, muscle man, not this time. Come on, it's only one wing. Well, or even just, uh, well, sometimes people do things they regret on a belly full of wings. Yo, what the freak? These are statements I did not, typically I never caught something like that. referring to alcohol. True. Not to mention, every time the park goes to celebrate on the weekends, they go to a place called Wing Kingdom, Kingdom. most likely referencing a bar. And it, it I'm not going to lie, it kind of looks like a bar. Now, let's get into the whole everyone not existing aspect of the video. But Out of Rigby. everyone that works at the park, one person in particular seems to struggle the most with the so-called soda addiction. Rigby. And that's Rigby. He also seems to share very similar traits with all of the park staff. A little too similar. But what if it's not just that they're similar to Rigby, but a part of him? We know that what often comes with chronic alcoholism is a tendency to dissociate yourself. Addicts often struggle to admit to themselves mm. and to others that they have a problem, when to everyone else, it's obvious. Maybe the regular show is a representation of how Rigby is coming to terms with his alcoholism by subconsciously analyzing these issues through these characters he's created inside his mind. For instance, Rigby as a raccoon is how he perceives himself. Childish, naive, short, immature. <laughs> While Mordecai short. represents what Rigby aspires to be like. Tall, 
responsible, but still understands how to be a relaxed and down-to-earth person. True. Benson represents the anger and rage that Rigby holds onto, and the reason he's always mad at Rigby could be a reference to Rigby's depression, oh. putting himself down, which can easily be attributed to being an alcoholic. Yo. Muscle Man is how Rigby believes... I'm not gonna lie, it's probably a bad idea watching this video. It's probably gonna change my whole entire sp perspective on this whole entire show. I'm not gonna count. Even society views him rude, arrogant, unattractive, and overly emotional. And finally, Skips. Skips represents the wisdom that Rigby yearns to possess eventually. This is a very common way for an alcoholic to cope with the variety of problems that fill their lives. So it wouldn't be that unusual for Rigby to think that way as well. The reason that all of these characters aren't human, but instead things such as a gumball machine or a blue jay or an immortal yeti, could also be influenced by Rigby dissociating himself from the attributes they represent, most likely because he's ashamed of them, like Muscle Man or Rigby, or because he doesn't genuinely see the traits within himself, like Mordecai and Skips. Wow. It's very common for alcoholics to suffer from severe anxiety, so with that we can assume that Rigby does as well. And this can explain why every episode has that very same plot structure. Yep. Each and every episode goes to 0 to 100 Real extremely quick. fast, right? And I believe this to be due to Rigby's anxiety. Anxiety can cause the diagnosed to blow small things way out of proportion and make them feel way bigger than they truly are. So this leads me to believe that all of the insanity that proceeds to take place after being presented a minor problem is Rigby's anxiety-ridden brain completely overreacting about the severity of the inconvenience occurring. A perfect example of this would be from the episode Birthday Gift in Season 7. In this episode, Rigby needs to get Mordecai the best birthday present, so he tries to create the perfect video game with no experience. That shit but, was ass. while trying to make this amazing video game, he gets trapped inside and almost dies. In reality, I believe this is just Rigby's anxiety causing finding the perfect gift to feel like a life or death situation, completely mm -hmm. blowing what for most people would consider a small issue out of the water. And lastly, the finale of the show displays the entirety of the park finally overcoming the defining flaws that make each character who they are, possibly implying that Rigby's taking control over his own life and the difficulties that he faces on a day-to-day -day basis. And yes, I know. All of this sounds completely crazy. Who would put a show like that on a kid's channel? Well, the regular show was actually originally made for Adult Swim, a channel where alcoholism- It was, what? No way. And depression is a very common topic. On a channel like that, a show with a backstory like this would fit in wonderfully. Do you think there's any rhyme or reason to the randomness of this amazing show you can completely overanalyze this show just like i've done today in so many directions but i truly wonder what direction is the correct one but hey once again it's just a kid's show and is most likely just that but do you really think absolutely none of this is true let me know in the comments below any thoughts you have or things i might have missed and if you enjoyed this video please consider checking out my last video the Spongebob episode that traumatized me. I'd also like to just quickly thank you guys for 3,000 subs. I honestly did not believe we would get there this fast, so thank you. On the road to 100 billion, baby. <laughs> if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching, and come on already. Like and Chat. I'm not gonna lie. Comment down below what y'all think of this video. Me. I got a whole lot of thinking to do about this whole entire show. I love regular show. I just said it was about to like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. Roll to 3K subscribers. I'm out. Peace.